Riding an avalanche of hype, Kamsat Shamiv gets his chance to announce himself as a contender at UFC 273. In a day and age where nothing can be appreciated at face value, it wasn't a surprise that after Kamsat Shamiv raced out to four first round wins in his first four UFC appearances, there were still some skeptics. Shamiv isn't interested in hearing from them. Who cares about that, he said. I'm here to stay for a long time. I'm not here to be a normal fighter and get one title. That's a bold statement, and though he hasn't picked up that one title yet, he can get a step closer to challenging for the welterweight strap held by Cameron Usman if he can get by Gilbert Burns this Saturday, on the UFC 273 main card in Jacksonville, Florida. And, yeah, he's not planning on having Brazil's Durinho stick around too long either. I respect his skills and everything he does, Chamif said. He's one of the best guys, but not on my level. So business as usual for the 27-year-old Chechnya native? Nothing different. I'm just gonna go and kill this guy. That's pretty bold, too, but it's par for the course when it comes to Boris, who made his UFC debut on July 16, 2020, with a second-round submission of John Phillips. Ten days later, he took a little over three minutes to stop Reese McKee. And while he had long been that underground cult hero that everyone who had been through Sweden's All-Stars Training Center talked about, winning two UFC fights in less than two weeks put him on everybody's radar. Everything changed after those two fights, he said. When I came home, people recognized me, and you have to be ready for that. I was ready for that because I saw teammate and UFC star Alex Gustafsson and the guys who were famous in Sweden. Less than two months after the McKee fight, Shamiv made his Las Vegas debut and took the level of hype to new levels with a 17-second knockout of Gerald Mearscher. Now the call was for Shamiv to fight one of the top dogs in either the welterweight or middleweight division, but then he was taken down by the only opponent who has come close to beating him, COVID-19. It was bad, he said. You can't do your work, you can't do what you love. Even when he began the road back, all it took was 10 minutes in the gym to exhaust him, and he wondered if his career was over before it got a chance to thrive. Luckily, he gradually got back to 100%, and when he returned last October, it was more of the same from Chimiev, who submitted Li Jingliang in a little over three minutes. When I came back and smashed that guy, everybody seen that, he said. Now he's back where he was expected to be before COVID hit, and the next order of business is beating Gilbert Burns. He pulls that off and any remaining skeptics may be silenced. He's one of the best guys, said Shamiv. If I beat him, what are they gonna say? I beat him already in my head. And if those naysayers are still around, remember, Shamiv doesn't care. I'm the king here. Just stop me.